Well, the role of strategic investors has been key to Malaysia's Packet One Network's business. Two years ago, South Korea's SK Telecoms came on board as a key investor with a 25.8% stake. And that means with parent Green Packet and SK Telecoms combined, they own nearly 83% of the wireless broadband services provider. Now, what role do they play in the company's decision making? Well, for more, I spoke earlier with its CEO, Michael Lai, and I started by asking how involved the two key investors are and charting the future direction of Packet One. They play a very important role in terms of uh, strategic and also advisory guidance. That's point number one. And Green Packet being one of the leading telecommunication solutions company in the world, bring a wealth of uh, 4G telecommunication solutions knowledge as well as 4G devices, modems, uh, 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 knowledge to the table. And as for SK Telecom being the largest uh, mobile telco in South Korea with over 26 million subscribers, uh, brings in a, a strong and impactful a track record of telecommunication heritage to us in terms of day-to-day -day operation, network design, uh, IT billing services and many many other, other areas to, to pack at one. Going forward, are you also trying to seek more of such strategic uh, shareholders uh, into P1 and uh, you know, in a way to try and grow the company in terms of getting more capital? Uh, if not, then how are you going to fund uh, the future growth of this company? We will always uh, keep our option open as we continue to move uh, along. Uh, but good news is that recently we just closed another round yeah, of uh, uh, US 51 million funding injection actually led by Kendercourt, which is based out from Singapore. Uh, that definitely uh, will augur very well in terms of our further network coverage expansion as well as subscriber acquisition plan. On top of that, uh, happy to announce that uh, we have just hit uh, our EBITDA positive quarter uh, last quarter uh, in, in a short three and a half years. So with that, it opens up a lot more option for us in terms of fundraising purposes as well. P1 is also quite aggressive in terms of upgrading um, your network and building on it. Uh, you just pumped in 250 million US dollars just about three years ago in CapEx to launch the 4G network. Um, what guidelines do you have in place to make sure that you don't overspend what you uh, want to invest in? With a mere 250 million US dollars investment in, in the last three and a half years, we have already managed managed to cover 53% of the population in West Malaysia. Uh, I think it has a lot to say in terms of how we utilize our capital and also especially in capital expenditure. So with that, we'll definitely continue to, to, to live uh, with that heritage in terms of being prudent, in terms of being uh, uh, using our pioneering, what we call build and build strategy. That means the moment we build one base station, one site, we actually start selling and collect money right away. So it's very good in terms of a good cash flow, in terms of cash flow return on our investment. You're aiming to uh, get internet access to about 65% of the Malaysian uh, population. Yes. Is that ambitious and how do you plan to achieve that target? Up until end of last year, we have managed to cover up to 53% of the population of West Malaysia already in, in three and a half years. So for us to cover from 53% as of end of last year in three and a half years to 65%, we believe it's a very doable goal. Uh, what, uh, taking a three-pronged approach uh, for, for this uh, additional coverage this year, Number one, we just uh, signed a, a partnership agreement with 10 state-backed companies in Malaysia uh, to enhance our coverage uh, uh, rollout and, and, expert, and also to expedite that. That's point number one. Point number two, uh, this year we also start our coverage in East Malaysia already. And thirdly, uh, we continue to enhance our coverage in the second and third tier townships in Malaysia as well. So with, with that, we, we believe uh, the, the goal of reaching 65% of the population in Malaysia with cutting edge 4G services is within reach. And that was Michael Lai from Packet One Network.